Okay, so for this part of the lecture now, we're going to be looking at um, a bit of cell biology and trying to put um, these oncoproteins in a biological context. In other words, where does the oncoprotein fit in with other cellular um, processes? Okay, so we're going to be looking at um, how cells respond to growth factors and how these growth fact and how these oncoproteins are involved in signaling from these growth factors. And um, when these pathways go wrong, they drive cell growth. Okay, so these oncoproteins are typically involved in signaling pathways that control the growth rate of cells. So we're looking now at the question of how do oncogenes um, succeed in perturbing um, cell behavior. So the question is, how can such a small change in a gene sequence lead to such a large phenotypic change in cell growth? Okay, so clearly um, no protein in the cell works in isolation and to understand how a cell protein works you've got to look at a, a pathway. So people have identified a variety of, of cell phenotypes that become altered by these oncoproteins and um, the typical early oncoproteins that were identified were the RAS protein and also another protein called SARC. And we'll look at the SARC protein because I think SARC was actually the first oncoprotein identified. And understanding SARC helps us understand um, receptors and growth factors. Okay, so we'll look at some of the early work at, in, into the SARC oncoprotein and then I'll explain to you how an understanding of SARC helps us understand um, how these um, some of these signaling pathways may, may function and we'll look at this in more detail in a couple of lectures time. So the question is how can a single protein um, cause um, s such um, th these different pathways to be um, dysregulated? Okay so pathways involved in differentiation, pathways involved in cell growth you know and these kind of pathways. So in normal cell biology, cells receive signals from um, other cells or other sources and these signals help regulate and trigger cells to grow at the right time. Okay, um, So these signals are processed by um, these internal um, cellular pathways and um, so Cells have, um, obviously, you know, they have plasma membrane, and embedded in the plasma membrane are these receptors. These receptors pick up the cell signals and drive the process of growth. Now, clearly, um, membranes, these plasma membranes, are a barrier so that most things can't pass through the barrier. And so, effectively, you have these receptors that pick up the external to the cell signal and they um, transform it or um, they, they, they internalize that signal somehow and we'll look at the, how that process occurs. So this is one of those diagrams I'm hesitant to flash at you at this stage because you can look at it and go oh my god that's overwhelming. Okay so the very simple thing I want you to get from this diagram if we let, 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 let me interpret it for you. So at this level here we're looking at the plasma membrane. Okay. And then as you cross the plasma membrane from outside the cell to inside the cell, you then work through the cytosol, and then the signal from the plasma membrane has to get through, um, down, at, so that it can then cross the nuclear membrane and, and affect these transcription factors to turn on gene expression. And then if you turn on the right sets of genes, you can then perturb a cell to enter apoptosis or cell migration or to grow or you know some other process of differentiation or adhesion or you know so these large phenotypes that you can see when cells start growing we say that's a change in phenotype it's growing or it's starting to apoptose or it's starting to differentiate these big cellular changes are driven by small um, amounts of signaling molecules binding to these receptors on the plasma membrane so in a couple of lectures time we'll look at one of these signaling pathways in a little bit of detail. Um, okay.
So what we have here are a range of um, receptors, and these ones here are, the, uh, are these tyrosine kinase receptors. They're the ones we're going to be looking at. There's also other types of receptors, which I won't discuss now. And then somewhere in these pathways are these, pro these proteins, these oncoproteins, such as RAS proteins. Um, some of these receptors are oncoproteins. Some of these transcription factors are may maybe oncoproteins. So these are the key proteins that when they're mutated, they push the, the pathway they're involved in to, um, to, um, to, to, to an extraordinary limit. So they, they push growth or they push, they stop up apoptosis or mutations of some of these key oncoproteins perturb the cells. So these are some of the key players that we pick up in transformed cells. So there's a little um, index here on the side. So we have these signaling molecules that bind to these receptors in the plasma membrane. These receptors then um, are activated through a change in conformation to then um, to trigger a cellular pathway through these adapters and enzymes and effectively you have a signaling cascade leading to activation of transcription factors that turn on genes in the nucleus.